Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. In previous sessions, we discussed about serializability and types of serializability with solve examples. These all examples will be helpful for your university exam as well as gate exam purpose. I have mentioned complete database management system playlist link in below description box. Now, in this session, we will discuss about the next important topic that is recoverable and non-recoverable schedule. So, let's start the session. In this channel, you will get a complete point-wise easy explanation, practical demo and question bank of following subjects. Please like and share these videos with your friends and subscribe the channel. So you will get a notification regarding my new coming videos. Now, the first thing is schedules in DBMS and schedules in transaction. There are two types of schedule. One is serial schedule and another one is non-serial schedule. These things we discuss in part one. This non-serial schedule can be divided into the two parts, serializable and non-serializable. Serializable schedule can be again divided into the two parts, conflict and view serializable. So we already discussed serializable and conflict serializable in part two and view serializable in part three with solve examples. Now, in this session, we will discuss about non-serializable schedule and there are two parts like recoverable and non-recoverable schedule. Now, the first thing is what exactly non-serializable schedule? See, serial schedule maintain the consistency in database, but non-serial schedule does not maintain the consistency in database, right? So you can convert non-serial schedule into the serial schedule format. This thing is called as serializability. But there are some examples and some problems still they can't convert into the serial non-serial schedule into the serial schedule format. So this concept is called as non-serializable schedule. This non-serializable schedule can be divided into the two types, recoverable and non-recoverable schedule. The properties of not serializable schedule is they may or may not be consistent in database or may or may not be recoverable. Means some errors or failures have occurred, so they may or may not be recoverable. They doesn't store accurate information in database, right? So that's why because of these properties, there is no any guarantee. This particular non-serializable schedule, they work like a serial schedule and maintain the consistency in database. Next. Now, the first one is non-recoverable schedule. Now, just focus here in this example. This is a schedule S. Schedule means collections of transactions. There are two transactions, T1 and T2. Now, let's see here. This T1 transaction first perform read operations on the database like read of a they read data from the database like a equal to 100 after that they perform the operation like a is equal to a minus 50 so 100 minus 50 50 and they write of a means updated information they write into the buffer memory still they stored all the information buffer memory after commit they stored this information into the database right so first T1 perform their transactions after that T2. This is a non-serial schedule. That's why they perform the transaction parallelly. Okay. So T1 transactions have completed. Then T2 is there. So T2 perform read of A. So they read the A that will be written by the T1. That is A is equal to 50. And after that they update the information A plus 150. Means 50 plus 150 that is 200. And this information read into the buffer memory like write of A and A is equal to 200. And after that operation, T2 perform commit. Commit means they stored this updated information into the database. That is A is equal to 200. At this particular place, it is clear. Now, after commit here in T1, some failure have occurred. Failure means suppose there are some software error, hardware error or any network error. There are lots of errors or failures have occurred. There are lots of reasons behind this, right? So when failure have occurred, it roll back the transaction. Means it perform the atomicity property. We already discussed acid properties in previous sessions. So atomicity property means if failure have occurred, it either roll back the transactions, okay? So when they roll back the transactions, it perform the transaction from the first point again, okay? So, they again read of A, that is A equal to 100. 
but at that time they perform a is equal to a minus 70 suppose so 100 minus 70 equal to 30 so they write a is equal to 30 but now t2 can't use this information again because they perform commit commit means they perf permanently stored this information in database right so this is called as non recoverable schedule they can't recover their information because they perform the commit right so this T1 operations have completed after failure occur they again perform the transaction after that they perform the commit okay so this is called as non recoverable schedule in T2 because they can't change the information T2 is completely depend on T1 because they read the A from the T1 right so this is called as not recoverable schedule they can't recover the information because they perform the commit they permanently store the database all the information clear next now the next thing is recoverable schedule this is just opposite of non recoverable schedule see here same example is there schedule as schedule means collections of transaction two transaction t1 and t2 now t1 perform first read of a read of a means they perform the data from the database that is a equal to 100 they perform the operation a is equal to a minus 50 100 minus 50 means a equal to 50 and they perform write of a means updated information have stored into the buffer memory so a equal to 50 now after that t2 is there t2 perform read of a means they take the information that is a equal to 50 from the t1 now they perform the operation a is equal to a plus 150 that is 50 plus 150 200 and they write of a write of a means this updated information have stored into the buffer memory that is a equal to 200 right so here they does not perform commit operation now okay after that in t1 failure point have occurred means some error or some failure due to some network internet hardware software there are so many reasons right so when the failure have occur t1 perform the rollback operation rollback operation means they start again from the first step this is a atomicity property so they again perform the transaction so at that time they perform a minus 70 means 100 minus 70 that is a equal to 30 now here a is equal to 30 so again t2 take this information again like read of a means a equal to 30 and 30 plus 150 they perform the operation like a equal to 180 now right because they perform the commit yet that's why they change their information so this thing is called as recoverable schedule so recoverable is decide before commit okay if you perform commit operation it is not recoverable and when you perform when you still not perform commit operation so you can recover the thing you can change the information right so when t1 perform the commit and after that t2 perform the commit right because t2 is depend on t1 t2 take the information of a from the t1 so when t1 perform the commit means this operation have permanently stored in database and this is a confirm operation so after that t2 perform the commit right so this is called as recoverable schedule this recoverable schedule has total three types cascading cascadeless and strict schedule so these things we will discuss in next part clear so this is about not recoverable and recoverable schedule so thank you keep learning